A fungus that causes a fatal disease in bats has been found in even more Washington counties. King 5 environment reporter Michael Crow explains what happens to bats when they get what's called white nose syndrome. And the big takeaway here is this fungus continues to spread in Washington state. Now it's been found in Snohomish and Chelan counties, and they expect to identify cases there sometime in the next year. The fungus causes white nose syndrome, which attacks bat skin, making it tougher to fly. They also can come out of hibernation early, putting them at greater risk. It's important to note, these two new detections weren't confirmed cases of white nose in bats, but finding that precursor fungus in their guano. So I guess just talk about the level of concern here, if it's popping up in more counties, the fungus. I mean, is, is there any stopping it, or, or do you expect over the next couple months to find it in even more counties? We may find it in more counties. We're continuously doing testing, um, but it is, we can expect to see that we'll see some white nose syndrome cases most likely in the next year or so in those areas. Here is the map of detections in Washington, and as this spreads nationwide, there are lots of questions about how it affects western bats versus bats out east, because bats are a key part of the environment. All the bats in Washington, all 15 species, are insect-eating bats. And so they're eating those night-flying insects that can damage our crops, uh, can be damaging for forest health, and you know mosquitoes and other pests that can bother us and human health. An interesting complication here is there's some question about whether we people could transmit the coronavirus to bats. Again, questions right now. So researchers are being told to keep their physical distance. You should avoid bats as well in general and not bother them. But officials say if you have for some reason touched one, call the health department immediately. I'm Michael Crow, King 5 News.